So here we're given a function defined by f of x equals 2 over root x. And we're asked to express f of 5 as a fraction with a rational denominator. So f of x defined to be 2 divided by whatever the square root of x is. So if we replace x by 5, we'll get 2 divided by the square root of 5. Now the denominator is not rational. Root 5 is irrational. Square root of 4 is rational. It turns out to be a nice chunky whole number 2. That's rational. Irrational root 5. So the trick here is to multiply top and bottom of the fraction by root 5. In essence, we're multiplying by root 5 over root 5, which is just 1. If you multiply by the number 1, you're not changing a fraction. So that's the trick. Let's multiply the tops of these fractions. 2 root 5 and root 5 times root 5 in the bottom of the fractions. Root 5 times root 5. Now the reason we're doing this is because root 5 times root 5 is 5. That's the definition of what the square root of 5 is. The square root of 5 is a number. When you multiply by itself, you get back to 5. Or if you square it, you'll undo the square root and get back to the number you started with. So square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And there's a fraction with a rational denominator. Five's a nice chunky whole number. It's rational. So two-fifths of root five.